soil, alongside air and water, is vital to the existence of life on our planet. Soil formation is influenced by several key factors. The climate, organisms and parent materials interacting over time, physical, chemical and biological processes, and increasingly, the influence of humans. Many soils in Africa have been depleted by decades of misuse, growing the same crops year after year, plowing that exposes the soil to erosion, and cultivation practices that do not return organic matter to the soil. The results are devastating, declining crop yields, severe erosion, and widespread poverty. Farmers in sub-Saharan Africa have faced many challenges, including an underdeveloped seed supply system, lack of improved seed varieties, lack of access to markets, dealing with brokers, which results in low farm gate prices, adverse climate changes, and the lack of information about good agronomic practices, including the management of soil health. AGRA was created in 2006 to address these challenges and improve African agriculture by triggering a uniquely African green revolution that will transform African agriculture into a sustainable system that assures food security and lifts millions out of poverty. In 2008, AGRA started promoting the use of Integrated Soil Fertility Management ISFM, practices among smallholder farmers. Through its programs, AGRA sought to catalyze a major shift in African agriculture not only in soils, but in seeds, markets, finance and policies. This is pretty much in line with the current strategy of AGRA and AGRA's overall vision and mission of transforming smallholder agriculture in ways that is productive, it's competitive, it's using technology and that farmers are linked to financing and other interventions such as market access that are essential for sustainability. Pigeon pea farmers in Arumeru and Babati districts in northern Tanzania have not been exempted from these challenges. Farmers in this area don't have improved varieties or enough pigeon peas varieties. Secondly, they don't have quality pigeon pea seed. Thirdly, they don't normally use fertilizers in the maize legumes intercropping system. They fear that fertilizers spoil the soil. Others argue that fertilizers are very expensive. Local pigeon pea varieties have yielded farmers up to one ton per hectare, making pigeon pea farming unprofitable. With a grant from AGRA, Selian Agricultural Research Institute, SARI, embarked on a three-year project to upscale the use of ISFM technologies. This project was achieved through these objectives. Demonstration and dissemination of pea-based fertilizer microdosing on farms. Identification of high-yielding, disease-resistant pigeon pea varieties. Improving access to fertilizers and other farm inputs. Providing access to domestic and foreign markets for both seed production and consumption. Farmers who have adopted the ISFM technologies have doubled their yields. Mimi ni mama watoto watatu, wa kike wawili na mmoja wa kiume. Pia nalia wajukuu. Tulivyofundishwa teknolojia ya kulima mbaazi kitaalam imenibadilisha kwa sababu kama nilikuwa ninapata dunia kama tatu nne hivi, lakini kwa sasa kwa sababu tunalima kwa kutumia mbolea mbazi na inapatikana mpaka gunia saba nane kwenye heka moja. Kilimo cha mbazi pe kimeweza kunisaidia kupata kipato nikaweza kuendesha watoto baada ya kuachiwa watoto baada ya babao kufariki wakasome. Nimeweza hata ku, kufahamika na makampuni mengine wameniamasisha juzi kwamba nifungue duka la kuuza mbegu na wameza, kuni, wameza kunipeleka nimesoma. 
5,900 trainers were engaged to demonstrate and disseminate ISFM technologies to over 13,600 farmers. Tulianza kuainisha wakulima. Baada kuainisha wakulima na vijiji vyao, ndipo tukaanza kuwapa mafunzo ndio baadaye wakakubali kuotesha katika vijiji vilikuwa vijiji kumi na viwili mwanzoni. Katika kupanda tulitumia mbolea. Tulivyofundishwa tutumie mbolea ambazo zitaongeza phosphorus kwenye udongo. Ina maana kwamba kila sentimita 45 kutoka mstari mpaka mstari unakuwa na mbazi na mstari unaofuata unakuwa ni mahindi. Baada ya kulima hivyo tulipalilia mapema zaidi na pia tukatumia mara ya pili mbolea ya kukuzia a good crop cannot be produced by poor quality seed the traditional varieties farmers used to grow in northern zone they are long maturing they are susceptible to diseases especially fusarium wilt a soil borne fungus and they are basically poor yielders they are also incompatible with the, with the cropping systems especially the major based cropping system agra's work in soils has realized three groups of improved pigeon pea varieties komboa a short duration variety tumia ilonga medium 1 and 2 medium duration varieties mali karatu and kiboko long duration varieties 200 kilometers away from arumeru we meet rose fratton kwa kwanza kabisa ilikuwa imeshangaza watu wengi. Nilipata gunia tisa kwa eka. Ilishangaza sababu watu wamezoea ni gunia moja mbili. Wakashangaa. Sasa ndio hapo sasa watu wakapata ile hamu na kuvutiwa na ile mbazi kwa sababu wanavyoziona shamba langu ndiko barabarani. Watu wanashangaa mbazi zinainamia zikiwa zina watoto zinainama kabisa hivi. Na zote zilizishia kwenye mbegu ili wauzia watu. Minjingu Mines and Fertilizers is one of East, South and Central Africa's major source of fertilizers. Encouraging farmers to use fertilizers has been an uphill struggle. Unfortunately, because of historical reasons, uh, the farmers were used to granulated fertilizers. We had to see how we could uh, granulate that phosphate. So we did some in-house uh, research and all that and we were able to develop uh, granulation technology for the product. Usage of fertilizer has increased. Gandhi Cooperative Society operates as a grains collection and storage center. Vile vile, tunakopesha wakulima wetu ambao ni wanachama, mbejeo, kwa maana ya mbegu, mbolea na madawa. Wanachama analipa asilimia 20 mara ya kwanza, kini baada ya kivuna mazao anakuja kulipa asilimia 80. Na wanachama wanagawana asilimia 25 ya faida mwisho wa mwaka. Msimu uliopita tulinunua tani 157. Kwa hiyo mwaka huu tunatarajia kupata tani 600 ambayo tutaiuzia export trade. Market agents were involved to determine whether the improved varieties meet diverse consumer preferences and processing requirements. Here we are exporting a huge quantity, something more than 10,000 tons of each commodity. Yeah. And uh, the exporting areas mainly it's India, South Africa, uh, Gulf countries, and even UK and Canada as well. The pigeon bees we get in Arusha region is one of the finest I have ever seen. Agro dealers ensure that the right type of fertilizer and improved seed and quantity is packaged and available for farmers. The African Conservation Tillage Network facilitates the sharing of information about conservation agriculture, CA, to manage agroecosystems that help improve and sustain land productivity and increase profits while preserving the environment. Pigeon P is a, a champion in climate smart agriculture they can uh, flourish in areas with very little rainfall such that they have tap roots which can break compacted soils from too much traffic or continuous plowing these legumes have the ability to utilize the freely available nitrogen in there to turn it into fertilizer 
the grain is uh, very rich in protein, uh, which can be used to solve malnutrition uh, challenges, deficiencies in the children. Also, uh, this particular crop can be mixed with other foodstuffs, and then the products which are which come out of it, we say high uh, value products, can be sold to uh, earn higher income. Farmers have also found multiple uses for the pigeon pea. The farmers feed their cows with the dried pods and use the wood for firewood. This reduces the cost of feeding the cows and contributes to environmental conservation. There's a lot that needs to be done. Um, we have reached a small percentage of the number of farmers that could benefit from uh, this uh, technology or set of technologies and the next thing is to work with the government of Tanzania, the private sector, the partners that we have already established together on the ground in Babati, Longa and, and other districts where pigeon peas grown and continue to expand that production. Bring more farmers that are currently not using the te technology to use it. So this will require catalyzing a public-private partnership including those buyers of this grain, those export companies, local companies that are acting for them, to help in this exercise by perhaps even contracting some of these farmers to produce for them and providing inputs and prices that are uh, remunerative, prices that are acceptable to these farmers. So scale up the effort. In northern Tanzania, Agra has gone beyond soils. A kilogram of pigeon pea now sells at approximately one US dollar. This is a true testimony of how research institutions, development organizations, financial service providers and private sector can come together. As a result of these efforts, pigeon pea is now a real gem in northern Tanzania.